Every app has one of these and it makes it super easy for everyone who downloads your app to go from screen to screen easily and it's called a nav bar. On Flutterflow, they're super easy to set up and all you need to do is two steps. Step one, go to settings and then go to nav bar, app bar, this right here, go ahead and toggle that on. But before you do that, you probably, you probably already just did that right now, it's too late. If you do that and you see a red bar pop up, this error pops up because you don't have any pages assigned to your nav bar. So now we're gonna go back to the project and if you only have one page in there, let's go ahead and pretend we only have one. Let's make two new pages. Let's say create a blank page, we're gonna call this page one. And then we're gonna make one more blank page, call this page two. Now you have some pages that you can assign to the actual nav bar. Let's make this one. Uh, click this right here. Show this page on the nav bar. It's going to tell you, you need to add one more page. So that's why we made these pages. Page one. Let's add this one too. There goes your nav bar. Let's add page two. Add this one as well. There you go. That's the first piece. So let's rename these real quick. So this one is profile and we already have a user icon. If you don't already have that, just click this icon, type in user, depending on what it is, could have been anything, right? Um, and let's make this page. We're going to pretend that this is search. Let's look for a search icon. That'll do. And let's rename this to, to search. So you can see what it is and let's call this one like, let's leave that one home, right? So now we need to, let's rename it real fast. Uh, there we go, home, let's change it to, I like this one, it's called home max. Actually, yeah, there you go. All right, let's say we wanna rearrange these because we don't want these right here, right? Like profiles are typically at the, the end of the app. So let's go back to settings, back to nav bar. And this is where you actually change the order of those. So let's say profile, it'll move it. So now it's over here. If we change this to the top, now it's over here. Let's change these around, home. That's typical right there, right? It's basic. Now, when we go back to the actual project, you'll see that it reflects. Let's say we want to change the color of the nav bar because right now it's like super bright white and this is not going together. So let's go back to it. Let's scroll down a little bit to the styling. We're going to change the background to, let's say, dark gray. And let's make unselected icons white. There we go. That's how you do that. Now we have a nav bar on the app. You made it easy for people to navigate the app. If you want more quick tips like this on Flutterflow, go ahead, like this video, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. You already know who it is, man. It's Wild for us the next tempo. Tap it.